And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching the video later on for some Teamer Storm. That's right, we got some Storm here in Standard thanks to this six mana enchantment, Thousand Year Storm. Yeah, so we're gonna be trying to get this thing into play, cast a bunch of incense and sorceries. So the Storm mechanic is all about. And we get to copy each of those instants and sorceries and just hopefully do a lot of damage to our opponent. So in order to do that, we're going to need a lot of mana, right? Because, um, you know, Thousand Year Storm already costs six. If we're casting a bunch of spells in a turn, you need a lot of mana to do that. So let's see how we can get there. We have the Electromancer that makes our instants and sorceries cost one less. So that's a start. You know, those can add up as well. We got Grow Spiral, helps us hit another land drop. We have Wilderness Reclamation that um, allows us to untap our lands at our end step, basically doubling our mana uh, with uh, whenever we're using instants. So we can, however much mana we, we have, if we have storm, uh, the Thousand Year Storm in play, we can use all that mana for spells. Then end step, we untap, and then we have that mana again for instants. <laughs> yeah, we're playing some Wilderness Reclamation here. <laughs> Thanks so much there, good brother. Um, and then it also, if we need, you know, for more land drops for extra mana, we have this new Throne of Eldraine rare Escape to the Wilds. This is like a supercharged light up the stage. It's five mana, and then you exile the top five cards of your library, and you can play them until the end of your next turn. So it's like, um, light up the stage in that way. You get to play them either that turn or the following turn as well, but then you also get to play an additional land. So you know, you can have uh, a second land drop for that turn to be able to help you get more mana. Our other, so that's uh, how we're going to try to get a lot more mana, get to this thousand year storm. Our other cool thing that we have here is we have Electro Dominance. This is an instant that can do a lot of damage to our opponent, especially with the help of Wilderness Reclamations. And uh, if we have like Reclamation and we have four lands, uh, at end step, we can, you know, add, add four to our mana pool untap our lands with Reclamation, add another four, have eight mana total, and then Electro Dominance for six. We can cast a card with CMC six or less, so we can cast the Thousand Year Storm. So we can even get Thousand Year Storm with only four lands into play if we have a Reclamation and an Electro Dominance. Um, so yeah, so that's that's what our deck's all about. So we're going to see how it does. Uh, this is a donation deck, and so with our donation decks, what we always do is play it through a league. Hopefully the entire league is saved, unlike our last deck. So we're going to play until we get five wins or two losses, whatever happens first. All right, here we go. Yes, Teamer Invention is on Stream Decker. It's, uh, it was from a few days ago. We made the deck a few days ago. I think we're going to have to mulligan. Got to have more lands than that. It's between the explosion or the electro dominance here. I'm definitely keeping the three lands in the growth spiral and the escape to the wilds for sure. I think I'm going to get rid of electro dominance. Hey Duke, the day's going very well. Already exiled a stomping ground. Now, uh, Robber the Rich does not exile anything because we both have five cards in hand.
This can be rough. Not exactly sure how I'm going to kill this spawn of mayhem. Keep it from killing me. Yet. Creatures are so big. What do I even have? To keep me alive. Like what can I how what can I find? I have shock. Rouse outburst. What's up, Duke? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub there. Oh yeah, we're facing Debo. Looks like nothing's hit too hard. Maybe we need lava coils, just instead of beacon bolt. Beacon bolt looks really slow. Maybe we just need lava coils. Because I don't know if I'll even have very many instants and sorceries in my graveyard by the time we need to kill these things, like, right away. Yeah, F Flame Sweep. I don't know, like they just played, you know, two of the three creatures they played, Flame Sweep doesn't kill. Oh well. Hey, what's up, Jay Reek? Thank you, thank you so much. Jay Reek, I really, really appreciate that. Again, some people on the hype boats here. We have 10 new amazing subscribers. So congratulations to our, our new subs here. Fireballs, Mahoney, Red Brick, Farm Reggiano, Schmap, Savage, Fight Whales with My Fists, 3D Silic, Dingle, Kivo the Four, or K Kavo the Four, and the Samurai Man. Thank you so much there, J Reek. Man, everybody got their hype in the chat, too. Love it. Love seeing it. And then uh, Mungo. I appreciate that as well. Thanks, Mungo. And Electric Dad getting in on the hype as well. Shock? No shock. Yeah, the I like these these new lands with Throne of Eldraine. They are definitely nice. Yeah, keeping that prime prime train rolling.
Yeah, we are getting close to a 12-hour stream. Let me update that now. Rotting Regisaur. So we can kill that. All right, so that is 14 sub goals. 14 out of 20. All right, updated that. I would like to wait until Debo's upkeep to do this. But we need this extra mana. Hey, what's up, Hims? Him Misfit? Thanks for keeping the hype going. Thanks for Twitch Prime sub as well. We're 17. Hmm. Guess we keep that. I don't want to actually auto pass. Ooh, close. All right, one second, I gotta take this. All right, sorry about that. All right, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine mana. Oh, wait. We got even more. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we can do 10. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there's another new code. Crumbelina. Resolve. Why, why is it waiting on me? I don't know. Just, just discard stuff. I discarded both of my thousand year storms. Uh, anyway, Sarah Paladin and D D Kish, thank you all so much. <laughs> Try to hype these hypes. I'm doing too many things at once. I still have another thousand year storm? Oh, nice. I thought I got rid of all of them. Okay, so I think we can have this. I think we got this. Well, let's see. I only have one route. We probably have this. I don't know if we do or not. We'll see. Maybe we don't. We 
Just kill these gutter bones. You think I should should have just gone face? I'm thinking if if we actually like draw our car, we should be fine anyway. So I'm just kind of being a little safe there. Like I, th I think we'll be. I think we can do the extra damage anyway. Oh yeah, we're definitely good now. That's lethal. That's really all we need to find. I don't like the sound now. <laughs> the sound's being annoying. The, uh, hey, it's your turn sound. Honestly, I should just keep that. I really should have just kept the other card. It, it doesn't really matter. Like, this is... We have lethal, so it's all good. All right, so we're going to add mana here so we don't have to listen to that sound anymore. Just to, to triple double check. Yeah, because this, this would have been five shocks. So we would have been able to do 10 damage with the shock. But just to make sure... Just to make sure, cast the other opt first. And machine gun. Shock lethal. Yeah, we did kill two Regisaurs that game. And not with the help of Beacon Bowl, with one with Electro Dominance, one with Explosion. So Wilderness Reclamation allowed us to do that. I don't think we would have won that game on the draw. I have no idea what happened, what just happened, but I like it. Okay. All right. Well, we're we're in game three now. This is gonna be a keep. We're gonna need to look for lands. All right. That's a land. That's a land. We get the breeding pool into play. Tap so we don't have to shock it in, and then we're gonna have growth spiral on turn two that can also cast op. This Wilderness Reclamation card seems pretty powerful and wonderful to see any play. Yeah, it turns out tripling or quadrupling your mana makes things easier. Don't have red mana yet. Still no red mana. Taken down by the basics. No red mana here. Yeah, looks like we dead. Rakdos hits real hard. I mean, our, our hand was awesome. Turn three reclamation. Ugh. But we did.
it's hard to beat you know turn three seven six turn four seven six whenever we uh you know it's like what we have here that's just really hard to beat turn three seven six on the play we beat turn three seven six when we were on the play because our hand was was really awesome but couldn't beat it there All right, new match. Our man is good. I think our one escape is fine for now. No, I no. Our our deck doesn't need ley line of anticipation. Um No. It's most while there are there will be a small amount of, like there will be a small amount of games where you actually get like a free ley line and then it actually you know and it helps you out and everything but there's so many games where ley line of anticipation just doesn't um doesn't doesn't hurt or doesn't help all right sorry i gotta take it again it's my lawn person that's here uh that's dealing with my lawn right now so sorry gotta take this Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Too many creatures. I definitely put the stop there. I guess it didn't didn't recognize my stop. Just chemistry's insight before maybe we draw shock. I'm gonna keep the explosion though. I would like a land. Ugh, not a tap land. Not a tap land. Blech. All right, so I play Thousand Year Storm. I guess the tap land doesn't matter too much. It's fine.
No, I... Uh, Alright, it doesn't matter. Use, I didn't have I don't have eight mana for for dominance or or you're just saying use electric luminous reclamation dominance it in. Alright, one one one. So I have five mana to work with. Alright, I was hoping I was going to find a shock and all those cards. I didn't. We still kill our opponent next turn as long as we don't die here. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. All right, I put a stop. So we should be good to go there. The stop the stop worked. Alright, so we've played two spells. It's a lot of damage upstairs. I think it's enough to kill them. If not, we have like this explosion. That shock's definitely enough to kill them now. Shocks. Uh, 
Okay. That was going to be a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, they don't give you much time to do this. Yeah, it is. It is kind of nerve-wracking. You don't get a whole lot of time for that, but... Yeah, it's giving you anxiety between the rope and the stops and everything. Whew. All right, but we got there. So we're bringing in our sweepers and fries. Maybe just cutting the electromancers since we're bringing in the sweeps. And um, one escape of the wilds, 1,000 year storm. And I'm just going to play one Escape to the Wilds. Whew. Okay. We got there. If you play Woodland Champion and create a food token with Oko, does the Woodland Champion get plus one, plus one? Yes. The Woodland Champion says whenever any to whenever a token enters for you. And so, yeah, that includes food token. Uh, this is risky. Five cards is pretty risky, too, though. Just, just get this uh, this stomping ground in play. Alright, let's look for another land. Chandra's going to be Annoying to deal with. Electrodominance can deal with Chandra. We gotta get another land, though. That's not a land. Huh. We kept three lands. We've seen three, four, five cards so far, no lands. No, it's definitely not weird to consider main deck flame sweeps in this deck. Not at all. Yeah, copying Don't flame worry. sweep could be nice, I even with um, the clone spell. I'm letting them do this scry here first so they don't have the information. I want them to scry first before they have the information that their card is going to be dead. Land. Land. All right, so next turn. Next turn we get to Electrodominance, kill Chandra, and put Thousand Year Storm into play. So we're down to nine. End step stop. Good form. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am not happy right now. Should I am I supposed to upkeep Scry with the Castle Vantress? What? They're legendary. I want to do that.
All right, so we just draw. All right, that works, that works. I'm going to save this growth spiral for next turn so I can play it, play the other one, be able to start having them do more than just draw one card. Well, I guess... Oh, wait. This would draw into the other one. Eh, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I could do them both right now. Yeah, so it does chain here. That's fine. I'll still wait a turn. We're good. Stop. Dang. Shouldn't have activated the castle. Those cards are awesome. Would have had the mana to play them. At least played the insight. All right, our next turn should be really, really good as well. Casting this escape to the wilds. Because, you know, that's a sorcery. Well, that's a bunch of lands. Um... Well, that's all right. All right, play a couple lands. We untap, resolve one. And <laughs> my opponent's like, oh, I'm so close to killing them. Can they just die already? All right, triple opt. Resolve. So many spells. Uh, yeah, I want to grow spiral. Kidding me? Why do I not want to grow spiral? Um. Uh, that's fine. All right, we'll keep it. So hopefully, draw some lands. Yay, land. Yay, land. Boo, not land. Ooh. 
We'll get to, we'll get to electro dominance. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We'll get there. We gotta do some more zapping. Bzz, bzz. Doing some more zapping. Yeah, we gotta play the other cards first. Uh, we don't need a mountain. Gotta play all the cards. All right, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> so that's just eight damage a whole bunch of times. Eight, 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 eight. Uh, and then whenever our eight happens, then we get to do three a whole bunch more times. <laughs> the song The Funeral is playing now. Ready for the funeral. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Getting to do all that. That was a lot of fun. Mulligan. Yeah, that, that's true. Yep, new code. Thank you, Crumbelina. New code. Um, I think we can get rid of the opt, actually. Yeah, I kind of want the removal. Steam vents. Kendis, there's no no reason to be rude. Now, Shaper, that was completely uncalled for. All right, Iron Crag Pyromancer. This card's going to be a problem. We're going to have to double shock it. Well, also, it, like, it basically attacks for three each turn. Basically. It just does three on their turn and three on my turn. Depending on how they set stuff up. I'll, I'll just pass here. We found Thousand Year Storm. So it is good to, if we can hold all these until after we play Thousand Year Storm. Ugh. 
All right, good, good. Okay. So I'm just going to play the, the Thousand Year Storm and hope to untap with with it and be able to play all three of these spells. Do we have another mountain? Yes, we do. Good. Such a sweet animation. That's so cool. All right, so we lead with... So shock does two, double shock does four, so that's six, and then triple outburst does nine, so that's 15 damage. Are they, these things aren't even legendary? Whoa. Yeah, our, pro our opponent's probably not going to kill us this next turn. I have never had it two thousand year storms in play. That is for sure. With my sister by my side, I do not to know is to triumph. So we're down to eight. Yeah, 2,000 year storm. The storm has lasted so long. The poor fox. The, uh, the storm. It's been 2,000 years. Jeez. Basically, trying to take cards that give away the, the least amount of information. All right. So they had they definitely had a really really slow hand. They probably were just sitting like on a bunch of lava coils and stuff like that. They had the 2000 year storm. They're probably a Narset deck, right? Maybe we just play well I guess I guess I'd rather have Vale of Summer than a gate. If they try to counter my card, I, I get to Vale of Summer it. Okay, here we go. Uh, I haven't really seen a Fairy's Tribal deck at all for the standard format. I'm not sure if they if there is enough for it or not. Oh, okay, so it's not a 2000 year storm. It's it's a it's a double storm for a thousand years it's just a 
a super storm. I haven't played the Night Tribal deck yet. Planning on doing that tomorrow. Um... It's a good card, but I want land. I was basically doing this here to see if we get a tap land to be able to play. Opponent really likes hard casting this merchant. Merchant of the Veil. Where are these lands at? Of course, debating whether or not I should shock. I don't like shocking against the red deck. But yeah, we're we're good. We're gonna go ahead and do that. So merchant allows you to discard then draw, right? Yep. Now we're going to insight at end step. It's mm. a little bit of a problem. So we're down to 11. Come on. So can I, I don't have the mana to Electro Dominance put in Thousand Year Storm here. I can, uh, I can Electro Dominance for four and put in Wilderness Reclamation and kill this Pyromancer. I think I want to do that. But we'll see. I mean, I I had Electro Dominance for six, like like with Veil of Summer back up next turn. But this slows their clock way down. Also, no, that was the first invention deck that I played. Was this Teamer version here? 
So yeah, I haven't played Jeskai or Grixis or like any of the, the Planeswalker versions there. No, we don't get that extra trigger. Aw, oh, thanks so much, JRW. <laughs> wow, JWR. Uh, sorry there. But yeah, thanks so much there, JWR. Gets us our 20th sub of the day, another sub goal. We are getting really close to another 12-hour stream. We just did one two days ago. But we're almost there again. Okay. Oh, I guess this was to keep Veil of Summer up. I kept Opt up. I guess I should, maybe I was supposed to keep Veil of Summer up instead of Opt. All right, so that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to play Thousand Year Storm with Veil vale of Summer back. Yeah, by killing that thing, we saved six damage. They would have dealt three damage on their turn and three damage on my turn. But I mean, I guess we we would have killed it and you know we would have killed it this turn and put in Thousand Year Storm, but we would have taken six. That's pretty close to dying. Ah, oh, thanks, JWR. Thank you so much. Not play Alliance? What's what's Alliance? I'm hopefully killing my opponent next turn, depending on what we find. Six, seven, eight, which we're going to need to. If they have a burn spell, I'm dead here. Darn it, they do. Have a burn spell, that is. So I, have to, I have to use this to try to stay alive. Darn. They haven't played a blue spell, as far as I know. Oh, they did play a blue spell. Improbable Alliance, blue, red, enchantment. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a fairy. No, I don't believe my opponent's playing that card. Yeah, I played Opt, but it's draw a card if an opponent has cast a blue or a black spell. Aw, oh, thanks so much there, Kendis. Halfway to another sub goal. Y'all get that hype back in the chat. Thank you so much there, Kendis. Fry didn't, Fry didn't look like it did anything there. But I don't think I want to take him out. Because they could still just have Narset. And we really need it against Narset. Okay, um, let me update our sub goals also. That's what I'm going to do over here. Hopefully, we find a land here that I get to play with Grow Spiral. We got 15 out of 20. I haven't, yeah, I haven't made any Yurok deck. I don't know exactly what I want to do with Yurok right now. Having no Chupacabra or Hostage Taker. Okay. 
I have not tried any Ember Cleave decks yet either. Uh, that hurts putting that to the, down to the bottom. Why you do this deck? Okay. We're a turn behind. But you never know. Maybe we speed up. With the help of uh, this growth spiral here. No, it didn't have a late street, late start today, but dur during the middle of our um, invention league, my computer shut down. So we didn't get to... or So yeah, so it says that I've only been streaming for two hours, but I've been streaming for four. All right, so we reshuffled that Wilderness Reclamation back in here also. Do I want to do I want to copy opt like with expansion? No. Yeah, the auto tap that last turn you know, left up the red for my two shocks instead of left leaving up blue for opt, which makes sense. I have practiced against many foes like you. That was the card that I was hoping they were going to be playing for a very long time, but they just never played it. So I was hoping I got to expansion that, but I don't get to expansion it now with Narset in play. I was hoping that they were going to be playing that card. Like, basically all of these turns, I've been wanting to expansion that. So I'm glad I still kept the three fries in here. That's what we're kind of looking for right now. I couldn't have gotten you last turn, Escape to, to the Wilds. Yeah, but this turn I just want to slam the storm. But yeah, Escape to the Wilds would have been really, really nice the previous turn. Because we didn't do anything with our five mana. It's a bad sign. So a bad sign. Put thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, my opponent's playing Royal Scions. They played that earlier. Mm. 
How does expansion work with Thousand Year Storm? You just get like a lot of copies? I know 88 ways to defeat you. Pick one. I don't have lethal right now, do I? If I go shock, shock, expansion. That's just two, four, six. I can at least kill the Crackling Drake and Kefnet. If I go... I mean, I guess that's my best plan. Yeah, it's just 12 damage. Well, shock escape, that's that just taps me out. Then I I can't I mean it, <clears throat> Yeah, I, I can't really play escape to the wilds this turn, I don't think. Yeah, if we had Ral in play, would have done a lot of damage. And Ill -refined. I have just well, there goes the Kefnet. Hey, 619. You need, you need two expansions, though, to go infinite with... Um, Rao and play. You gotta be able to copy expansion. Land, 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 land. Hmm. Okay, so how are we going to survive this now? We'll start by thinning the deck. And of course... Oh, right. <laughs> well, that was dumb. That was dumb. And <laughs> the deck... The deck was not sufficiently th thinned. Electromancer out of here. We'll just get rid of this Ashiok too. That's annoying. Next turn we'll get rid of the Narset. Before we draw stuff. Lame. I know. I always forget about passives on Planeswalkers. It was... I'm not a fan of that idea either. I don't like them. The planes, like, basically all the planeswalkers with passives are just fine without the passives. Like, they're good enough without them. But, oh well. Yeah, yeah, I think there is something here also. Yeah, like, one in, I mean, one in two is just three matches, you know, also, but, uh, 
We struggled when we couldn't hit land drops, even though there is some acceleration in here. I think that 25 should be our land count, not 24. Because you need a lot of lands, and, and so much of our... Basically, all of our deck is like four or more, because like Electro Dominance is not a two drop. You know, like we, we have just a, a very small amount of the deck that's like on you know that's two mana or or like you know three mana or less really so like it's like if you don't have like these 12 cards we're going to be really really slow um so i would like a 25th land and honestly i don't i don't think i really want electromancers i kind of feel like just playing more removal instead of electromancers like just get a, a 25th land and then um I mean, I, I'd almost, like, maybe even rather have, like, a Boreal Grazer also. Just maybe a, instead of, as a blocker. No, maybe maybe you shouldn't have that. But, but you know, like, this could be uh, playing, like, main deck Flame Sweep and Lava Coil. Um, that kind of stuff. Like, Lava Coil and Flame Sweep main deck. Um, or if there's more direct damage spells besides Shock and Outburst they want to play. Escape to the Wilds was okay, but not. I don't think it's really like a three of. It's like there's times where it's like pretty nice, but it's not something you you don't really want to have like multiples. It's not really your game one plan. Um, like this deck, like one thing is that this deck needs to have yeah yeah instants are preferable for sure, and shock has to be a four of. Like shock is so valuable in this deck. Like there's, I, I can't yeah like there's that has to be a four of. Like I feel like we'd want to play more than four shocks if we could, because it, you know, it costs one mana, so it's really easy to play it with a lot of other spells whenever we're we're trying to do our thousand year storm stuff, and it's it can be a win con, for sure. I I think that just has to be a four of. If we get rid of these, get rid of like one of those, you get one extra land. Um, We play. There's not any blue red temples in here. Oh, I'm gonna get a blue red temple for that extra land. Um, the fetch was pretty nice in here, being able to fix. I did like the fetch. I I could definitely see playing a fourth fetch also, if you want to go that route. Um, green was the color that, that we didn't have very much of in this time. Like usually I'd have to like fetch for the green source quite a bit. And I didn't really like that. So I kind of want another green blue temple actually, because I don't want to fetch for the forest because of explosion and just wanting to cast a lot of ops and shocks and stuff like that. So I didn't want to fetch for the forest, but we had to multiple times to cast growth spiral. So yeah, maybe get another blue green fetch in here or a blue green temple in here actually. Um The outburst was good. I wouldn't hate playing another outburst. That card was good. And then just get like a couple of coils in here. Will this deck want to anticipate? I think you'd rather have like the fog than anticipate. But like maybe instead of coils, maybe you just play a couple fogs. Maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, I really liked the outburst. So I want I want like an an extra outburst and an extra shock. I want like more damage upstairs there. I have not yet, QQ. Um the fog's really bad right now. So yeah, so that's that could be a card there. If if you're going like instant instead, you can have uh Dragonfire. 
if if you want instant i don't know like how important the the four damage is um you like we just played against like that oh four like we played against some four toughness stuff and Rao does three so you know it could have dragon fire or coil um depending on how really important that uh that is that extra damage is but yeah there's a lot of a lot of good stuff here i didn't like beacon bolt at all like if we just want like a card to kill creatures i'd much rather have like coil than beacon bolt because beacon bolt's just really slow like you need to kill the creatures on like turn two turn three before you start doing this stuff and beacon bolt on turn three is probably doing one damage maybe two damage maybe you had like one of these cards and so on turn three it's doing like two damage and so beacon bolt doesn't really seem like a card that's worth that's worth it at all then because like when you when you need a removal spell against cheap stuff you need you need to play it on turn two and turn three yeah no yeah commence the end games too much man you don't you don't need anything like that like our end game's already good basically what, what we need is staying alive um i don't know if if there's a good life gain card that you can play um because this deck has to just be able to stay alive could you just play like gift of paradises maybe do that like instead of coils I mean, they still untap and start adding, and they still add two mana. Like maybe you can just play some Gift of Paradises. Maybe you want to do that instead of the two coil. Also helps fix mana for like explosion and everything. I could definitely see that being a thing. Like that, that doesn't seem so bad at all. I don't think we need Bond of Flourishing because a lot of, like it, it does get Reclamation and Thousand Year Storm and and land drops. So it's so Bond of Flourishing is kind of nice too. I, I think I'd rather play Bond of Flourishing than Anticipate because that, that three life is pretty critical. That's, you know, like we were a lot of those games, you know, like we were, you know, winning at one life or or uh you know like we just lost that last game you know by like two life and and so on like um so yeah like that that extra life can really really add up so maybe something like gift of paradise or bond of flourishing for that slot there all right storm have a good night there um yeah it could definitely could it could definitely get a third paradise instead of the the extra outburst here I was, I was impressed with the outburst, though. I really liked it with... Yeah, I mean, that that's definitely, you know, like, that's fine. Like, we, we played two that whole time, and I, I put a third one in there. I was really impressed with it. I liked it with Reclamation. You know, play Reclamation, untap, outburst. Um, yeah, the outburst was pretty nice. But there we go. What's your issue with Paradise? your ideal hand curves around it so you have you have one possible card in your deck that curves around it yeah i don't i don't think you don't play a card because your absolute perfect hand of having one of your four growth spirals and one of your four wilderness reclamations doesn't need gift to paradise that doesn't mean that you shouldn't play the card because you don't have that hand hardly ever you know, like, how much are you having one of your four growth spirals and one of your reclamations? You know, like, one out of, you know, six games, seven games, eight games? Like, that's not going to happen that often. We could, yeah, maybe, yeah, I could definitely see that. We could we could just go back and cut this land again since we have the Gift of Paradises and go four gifts. Um. Cause yeah, like that that life gain is gonna really help. Yeah, like I I like that. Like that's that's definitely fine. That's a good call there, Mountain.
it doesn't matter if you don't use the extra mana on turn four that well. We we can still use the extra mana on turn four and turn five and turn six and turn seven and turn eight. It's not like it's not like the game ends right away. You're still getting extra mana all the time, which look at all these cards that want extra mana. That's that's like our whole deck are cards that want extra mana. It doesn't matter that that you know we're not really going three to five, that even if we go gift of paradise into reclamation that we don't get to use it. I mean, it also, the other thing, like besides gaining life or gift of paradise, have curving turn three gift of paradise into turn four reclamation means that you get to play these shock lands and not take damage. We have 12 shock lands here. You know, we don't want to be shocking in all the time either. So like that's, that's also a benefit. Like where you go uh, turn three gift, turn four, you can play a tap land. You don't have to worry about shocking and then still play your reclamation and then untap and you got your five mana. Getting that extra mana helps just helps this mana base work. We have those twelve shock lands, and of course we have like the temples and stuff. Playing playing your lands in tapped is also valuable. Getting extra mana is valuable. Playing these lands tapped is really valuable. You gotta stay alive. No, we don't really need Lotus Field with I mean it It doesn't really even though you have reclamation, it does it doesn't Lotus Field's no different than just playing a third land. So, like, imagine you have two lands. You play this Lotus Field. You have to sack your two lands. And then you're like, all right, I got my Reclamation in play, so I can tap it and add three, and then untap it with Reclamation, and we get to add three again. So we got six mana. Well, if you just had your two lands in play and you play a third land, guess what? You, you can tap them and add three, and then Reclamation untaps them, and you can add another three, and you have six still. So Lotus Field doesn't ramp you with Reclamation. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, I'd, I would recommend checking out the Gift of Paradises instead of, um, I think I think this this works. I think this is going to work a lot better than the two two, um, than Electromancer, that Electromancer like turns on your opponent's removal and and dies and everything, and this gives you like that life and and can also ramp. Yeah, Escape was good. Escape was definitely not bad when we when we had. When we had the five mana to play and when we weren't um, in danger of dying, escape really helped us. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the thing, is it? And basically when you have Reclamation, like when we didn't have Reclamation and we were in danger of dying, we couldn't really play escape. It's the kind of thing that you just don't want to draw a lot of them. So I think that two is two's more fine than three there. I mean, we... we like. Rotting Registor, we killed two Rotting Registors in one of our games, but then on the play, our opponent got us with turn three and turn four Rotting Registors. All right, so that's our deck. Teamer, Storm. Pretty fun one to play. It's a little, little nerve-wracking, as you saw throughout those games, but it was a fun one to play anyway. So if you're watching on YouTube, like always, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and please leave some comments too like all of that but thank you so much for watching some team or storm and i'll see you for the next video